Well, first, um, and, and I appreciate the school uh, moment of silence uh, for those up in Thousand Oaks, because uh, it hits close to home with me living up that way and then uh, all the fires. So uh, I just want to, again, say our thoughts and prayers are um, with all those situations, whether it be the, the victims and, and now the fires that are uh, out of control and prayers to the firemen and first responders, the amazing people that are helping things, um, really puts in perspective of things. And uh, so those that are hurting, those that, are, that have had loss, um, just from UCLA basketball standpoint, we're thinking of them right now. So I appreciate the school doing that. As far as the game, um, I, you know, I, Long Beach is a tough one, and Dan does a terrific job with his team. And uh, they had a good game plan. They did a really good job coming in, and these early games can test you of what you need to work on. And um, I thought a huge key was our, our second unit. Uh, our second unit came in and the second half and really gave us energy because we got stops. Uh, and we've been talking about that from a defensive standpoint. And I thought that group did a tremendous job with stops that got us out into transition. Uh, they got the ball to Moses, um, you know, seven, 17 points on six shots. That'll change. Our team's still learning to play through him and around him. Uh, guys will understand it's going to help them if the ball goes through there. And we'll learn that. But um, I thought that second unit really did some good things, and that was good to see. Just on that first note, Steve, are, is your house, are you having to evacuate or anything? Yeah, we've, uh, we, we evacuated at 10 o'clock last night, got back in at 4 a.m. and then back out at 7. So we haven't been back in since 7. So um, kind of anxious here, getting out of here to see what's going on. Yeah, do you have any sense of no that idea. at all? No? Yeah, I've just been watching TV. Um, anyway, back to the game. Uh, just what do you think of, of Moses' consistency? Um, well, in terms of what he's putting out? Yeah, well, we've always said he's got a high motor. And when you're somebody with a high motor and you play as hard as he does, you can't help but improve and get better. And I think we're seeing that. Um, you know, he, he's, nobody's worked harder on his free throws than he has. And it doesn't mean he's going to go 7 for 11 every game. But, um, you know, I think um, Dan would have probably said, hey, yeah, we'll, we'll give him 11 free throws to start the game because we think he's going to make three or four. <laughs> and he makes seven, you know. So... He, he's learning, he's working. He, what he does, he works on things. And um, terrific individual that really cares, um, wants to win, wants to get better. Um, and, and I think as our team continues to learn to play through him, and it's not, it's not just post feeds. It's, I thought we missed him a lot on drive and lob. And that's why I think that's going to take some time. We've been drilling it in practice, but it's going to take some time because we haven't had this. You know, and I think Jay Hill's somebody we can lob to as well. So we just haven't had a presence like that. And the guys are going to take some time to learn it. And, and uh, so I, I know we can be patient with that. Um, I just think that we, we had some guys not defend the way we're capable of defending in today's game. And it almost hurt us. Coach, we saw this a couple, in a couple of games early last year at Central Arkansas and South Dakota where it's about a 10, 12 point lead with four minutes left and then it dwindles away. That kind of happened again tonight. Was it kind of the same issue of the press coming in and players, young players not knowing how to handle it? Yeah, some young players, but a lot of the issues we had were the old players. Uh, it was our bets late in the game of not, not taking care of the basketball. So you know, I think they got to look at tape and they got to learn that. And then, I, and then I think some of it's on me too because we, we have not um, – because of our injuries, we've gone through about 10 days of all our practices have been drilled and drilled and drilled, but very little contact uh, because we're not in a position where we can afford any kind of other injuries. So sometimes that's hard to emulate like a full court press and those type of things. But um, I, I thought they did a good job. They came at us hard and we didn't handle it very well. We didn't look up the floor. And I think through film and some practice stuff will be better next time that hits us. Coach, uh, is there any update on Riley and his return? On who? On Cody Riley and his return. Oh, no, not yet. Uh -uh. 